Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve! Today, we're gonna go through the next 10 floors of the Chrysler Tower, uh, 11 through 20. Or, well, 10 through 20, but you know what I mean, viewers. But before we do that, let's put that rare trading card to use in Triple Triad! No, no, uh, we're actually just gonna give it to Wayne, and, well, we'll get a little something better for it than we otherwise would with a regular trading card. Now, you see the option he has down here, Rare Tea Card Collection? Don't go for that yet. Just tune up a weapon, select your Rare Trading Card, whichever one it is, doesn't matter. And you do that, and, well, you can tune up a weapon, add another slot to it, just like an ordinary trading card. But once you're done with that, well, there's something else you can do with uh, Rare Trading Cards, too. You, uh, just use it on whatever weapon you want. Doesn't particularly matter, but yeah, once if you have a rare trading card, you can do it twice, not just once, unlike a regular trading card. So there you go. Now, wh what you do want to do is make sure that you use the rare trading card twice. Don't just use it once and then say, nah, I don't need the second boost. That's okay. Use it twice. But anyway, you select that option there. And you get, well, a list of all the rare trading cards you get. Or you can get throughout the game. I think there's 14 rare trading cards, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be wrong on that. I, I forget the exact total. Not that it especially matters. But anyway, you do want to collect them all, give them to Wayne, tune up your equipment. Because if you do use those rare trading cards with him, then... Well, there's a spe another special reward you can get if you tune up enough weapons with them. But we can't do that yet, so we'll just save that one for later. But yeah, just make sure you use those rare trading cards. Don't even worry about burning your trading cards on useless equipment or whatever. Just use them. Just give them to him, use them, so that way he, it's on his list there. of his, Or it goes into his collection, essentially. So... But yeah, you do want to make sure to use it twice, not just once and then be done with it. I mean, you can. It's not the end of the world, but it's better if you use it twice. Otherwise, you'll just need more trading cards to do what you want to do, I think. But anyway, okay, so now that we have the first Chrysler key, select whatever floor you want to go to, and we can just go there instantly. So now we don't have to go through all those floors all over again. So that'll save us a lot of time, so we don't have... I mean, not that the enemies are back, but, well, you know what I mean. So anyway, let's fast forward until we get to the next storage room of the Chrysler building there. But yeah, all the... Once you... Like I was saying last time, once you beat the boss on every 10th floor, all the previous floors, the enemies are gone. Uh, let's see. No, I, I went the wrong way that time. Whoops. Didn't quite, I don't quite know which floor is which on my random map list. So sometimes, like there, I gotta guess, and well, sometimes I just guess wrong. So, oh well. I was thinking about overlaying the regular music, or the background music for the floor to the video here, instead of fast forwarding all the music, but I couldn't find an extended version of the song. So, oh well, we'll just keep going with this for now. No, I'm not going to do Yakety Sax. Sorry. But anyway. So now we go this way. So yes, I, even though I have a map that can kind of, or a list of all the maps for the Chrysler Tower. Or the Chrysler Building Tower. Whatever. Yeah, even though I have that, it... I mean, there's still a lot of maps that have the same configurations for the first few rooms, so it can be kind of tricky to figure out which floor is which, even if you have all the maps. Fortunately, the source, or my source, ow, nuts. Yeah, fortunately, my source does kind of break down all the maps, so that way, like, if it's a left turn or a right turn, or if it's a T intersection or whatever, so it does make it easier to figure out which map I got, but oh well. 
On the bright side, though, I do like how they handle the random floors and all this stuff. Uh, certainly better than Dawn of Souls. Although, I may consider doing an LP of the bonus content in that game. But still, I mean, there, like, you're not guaranteed to get all the treasure with the ran how the chests randomly pop up on certain maps and the order that they do them in. So, I like how they handle it here, so that, because at least that way, you can get everything. I mean, you'll still have to find all the rooms, but at least you got stuff. So let's put that uh, stat boost to use and move on to the next floor, then. But yeah, this time around, in, in these ten floors, we're finally going to start getting some uh, remotely useful stuff. I mean, last ten, first ten floors probably intended you to do it before day five. But here, now we're going to start getting stuff that's better than, well, even main storyline equipment. So, I mean, nothing obscene yet. Really, like I was saying, most of the really good stuff isn't until, like, the upper twenty floors like the 50s and the 60s. So, but we will get some good stuff along the way. And, well, we kind of have to go through these floors in order to get up there anyway. So, oh well. But at least the enemies are easy enough. But here we get our first upgraded weapon. The, uh, oh, I went through that too quickly. I didn't catch the name of it. Oh, well, whatever it was. But yeah, it's, uh, oh yeah, and another rare trading card. All right. Uh, let's, oh, there it is. Uh, the full Uzi machine gun. So, if you are if you didn't get the junk machine gun, that's the one I'd recommend upgrading to. Uh, let's see. You could... Uh, what is it? If you got enough super tools, uh, move, like, the important abilities you want onto there, and that would work. But if you don't, I mean, it's not that big of an upgrade to the MP5SD6. Well, got some more stuff there. I'm not really going to worry about armor right now. Because most of the stuff on the early floors isn't going to be that big of an upgrade anyway. But eventually I will. So yeah, the full Uzi machine gun will last us quite a while. Yeah, we're not going to get something that's, like, re a really good replacement for that for, uh, quite a few, uh, ten-floor segments. But at this point, really, even if you don't have the super tools or the junk machine gun, I don't think it's really a big deal to even upgrade your weapon, because the difference in base attack power is so negligible compared to the amount of bonus points that you would have in X mode. So, yeah, it's not really a big deal. Yeah, I finally couldn't take it anymore. I had to uh, use uh, Heal 1 to take care of that 5 damage, or however much it was. Yeah, this uh, storage room is really out of the way, but oh well. Most of them aren't like this. But anyway, uh oh, nuts. I seem to be getting first strike a lot in these battles. I wonder why. Whoa! That guy actually took more than two hits. Like, a lot more? Well, the enemies must be getting remotely challenging. Well, not yet. But we're getting there. Soon it might take me more than a single round to kill all the enemies in the random battles. But anyway, yeah, fortunately the exit is really close to the treasure room there. Or storage room. Whatever you want to call it. Janitor's closet? I don't know. They have guns in janitor's closets in New York? I wouldn't know. Let alone the Chrysler building. I wonder why all this slime is here in the Chrysler building anyway. Hmm. Well, Eve's kind of been around, so I wouldn't worry about it. How important could it, could it possibly be? Whoa, holy crap! Mimic! Okay, 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 hurry, hurry. Come on, get first strike, first strike. Come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it! Yes! Okay! Whoo! Got it. If you don't get first strike, that thing will kill you! Or at least deal a sizable chunk of damage. So, yeah. 
you, you will not have time to run away. You have to have first strike if you're going to kill it before it can attack you. So, maybe I overreacted to uh, how powerful it was, but, well, let's just say I've had bad experiences with mimics in other JRPGs. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, you, you play enough JRPGs, you know to stay away from mimics. Or, well, Western RPGs for that matter. I mean, weren't mimics like originally created in Dungeons and Dragons or something? I don't know. I've never played any Dungeons and Dragons games or, or anything like that. Not that much into the Western RPGs. I mean, I play some, but uh, nothing or not a whole, not any of the new stuff. Like, uh, uh, what is it? Mass Effect or uh, what's that other one? Dragon Age. I think that's the one. I mean, I've thought about it, but uh, I kind of prefer to stay in my comfort zone right now. Ooh, grenade launcher. Nice. But anyway, alright, let's just uh, move along then. Yeah, sticking those mimics with a sword would help too, but, uh, well, I don't have a sword. I mean, I got a, a club, but well, that doesn't really do me a whole lot of good. Oh well. See, I think I'm going the wrong way. How did I not get into a battle the first time there? Aren't all the encounter points supposed to be 100% on the first time you go through that intersection? Huh. That's weird. I I don't know if I've ever seen that before. I guess maybe some encounter points aren't 100% the first time. Well, there's a handgun that would be even better than the full Uzi on attack power, but the attack speed of the machine gun is just so much better. Really, post-game attack speed is just... It's the ultimate. There's no reason not to go for that, because you have, like I was saying, you have so many bonus points, you can compensate for any other advantage that the other weapon types have. Or you can move around abilities, or whatever you want to do. And I keep on forgetting not to take the treasures from these battles, because most of them are a complete waste of time. I was thinking about going up there, but I was like, wait a minute, no, I did that the last time I found a floor with this relative configuration. But, oh well. I wonder why I'm getting so many first strikes now. I mean, is it, like, my level relative to the enemies, or, like, my, uh, AT rate stat? Ooh, another rare trading card. Kasul. Sounds like the love child of Camel Dawana and Valsu Sizer. But, no. No, that's another game of yours. Might consider making an LP of that one, but, uh, not today. Not next, that's for sure. You thought Dragon Warrior 2 was hard, viewers? <laughs> that game would put it to shame. First enemy on random battle can kill you in that one. And quite easily, too. I mean, you can win, too. I mean, it's not obscenely difficult, but... But, well, they deal a sizable amount of damage. Whoa! Didn't see that guy coming. Good thing I didn't uh, move in his general direction. I hate how they have all these enemies off screen. I can't even shoot them over there sometimes. Sometimes I can, but... I mean, the enemies right now are pretty weak, so... Once the enemies get a little stronger, then I'm probably going to... Uh, take my time a little more. Even if I do get a first strike. Just to wait a moment, make sure there's no enemies off screen that are going to come out and attack me, and then move on. Whoa, hey, alright. Okay, I got a little more inventory space. Damn it! Not a stat boost. Well, I got some abil nice abilities on that one, but unfortunately we can't transfer them from a club to a, m a ranged weapon. So, or whatever the opposite of a melee weapon is. But anyway, 
Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's something I can get rid of here. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of the tool. Oh! I didn't see that uh, medicine, too, I had there. Oh, well. Whatever. I've got so many tools, it doesn't matter. Now, super tools? That's what I really need more of. If only there were a way that I could get an unlimited supply of them. But sadly, I cannot. Yet. But first things first, we gotta get through the boss of this floor, so that way I can get another key, and I can take a break from fighting Yasmoth. I mean, uh, Chrysler Building. Well, at least they give me breaks throughout the whole thing. Could be worse. Well, at least that time I was able to kill the enemies off screen. Unlike the uh, Game Boy Color remake of Crystallis! Yeah, that could be annoying sometimes. Oh well. But anyway, okay, so now we're getting pretty close to the boss here, so let's slow down. And I want to make sure I have a little bit of inventory space, so that way I can put the key in my inventory once I, well, win it. For boss time! Against two alligators. These guys are a little tougher than the ones we've been fighting before, even during the main storyline. So, let's, uh, or day five of the main storyline. Okay, so, just like the ones we fought on day five, though, just make sure to get pretty close to them, stay behind them, or to the side if you can. Boom, we got them. But yeah, with haste and uh, nearly maxed out uh, AT rate stat, these bosses, pretty easy there. But, all right, we got another uh, key to the Chrysler building there. But can we get a better reward from those rare trading cards from Wayne? Find out next time on Let's Play Parasite Eve. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.